Oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, as promised, my people are here. No Sara is in the building. Yeah, and El said that I got, so you know, we in the house. Definitely, that's our family right there. And now we got 326 in the house. Yeah, we'll yeah. Yes, two 326, members. baby. Paul Rilla right here, 326. Jack the Rebel, 326. Yes, because I didn't up, meet you last up. time. And we got Kano on the video. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Behind this, you know, you can't forget about the you know videographer slash. No, this is right, everything else. Get you out. I don't want that. That's what I'm saying. Right now, he's slash, a videographer. You can keep doing it. Yeah, no doubt. So what's going on with you guys now? Last time we saw Nostara, you were kind of, you know, in between the record label thing. Yeah. So what's was, going on now? That was a minute ago. Like, um, how long was it? Like two years ago or something like that. No, like, maybe a year ago? Yeah, a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of issues with Machete, you know. Um, a lot of artists that still with Machete, that they were part of the same roster that I was in, like, they still having the same problems. You know, a lot of them, they're not doing anything for them, <laughs> you know, and they just staying there. Um, the issues came to the point that I was, you know what, let me get my release because you're not going to do anything for me. As a saying that they're not doing anything for the artists that's still there, you know, like yeah. so, like um, I'm still on sign right now, you know, I've been on sign for like about a year and a half now, maybe a little less than that, but I feel you know like better because mm -hmm. I'm actually able to put music out, you know, and like and get like better offers if somebody comes up, you know, like Machete wasn't doing anything, it wasn't gonna happen, and like the company now like went down the drain, you know, like Machete is not what it used to be before. Really fired you know, all so, the people, right? They're yeah, it's like a the big people. mess they have in there, you know, and they're not going to do anything for nobody. Like, the only people that they actually pushed was, like, we seen in Yandel and Don Omar, right? That was it. You know, they didn't push nobody else. And the rest of the artists that they do have talented artists that are signed to the like label. Like who? Who, who else? They have, like, um, this is kid from L.A. His name is Luna. He's nice. Oh, you know, yeah, the Luna, kid could, yeah. The kid could definitely sing. Mm -hmm. Um, They have Malverde as well, you know. Yeah. He was taking over the, the rap scene out there um you have notch out here yeah they're not doing not, nothing for notch neither you know there's like a whole bunch of artists you know that they're not actually doing anything you know so why be in a label when <laughs> you've been stuck well what was you know? it like what what are your terms like when you're on a label basically what do they say to you you can't put out your own music you can't do things <clears throat> like that like what's the difference now and being signed i mean um the music that I was putting out with Machete, like whatever was like published through them, um, since I had like a, a ex exclusive artist deal with them, like um, all the music that I put out at that time, like the masters belonged to them, you know. So I got to the point that I wasn't releasing anything because um, they were gonna own the masters for like how you know like whatever amount of time you know the. They own the masters too. Is that like forever? Minor. Isn't that really um, like nah, forever? No, actually, there's like a close, you know. Um, they have my masters, I think, for like about eight to ten years for the. And then you can the buy them yeah, back. Yeah, for the album, yeah. But I still get my royalties. I I got a um I got I own my own publishing. Okay, well that's you know, good. So they don't they don't have my publishing, you know, like. I Tell was, people it's very important. Own your own publishing. That's like everything yeah like they only have the masters to the record that they put out you know mm -hmm. but my publishing I, I have you know total control of it um and you put out two records now nah, i only put out one album with okay them. and then you had like the a second mixtape. album yeah i put out a mixtape okay. with them um the second album was being like worked and everything and yeah. they they were like okay we're gonna do it we're gonna um this is the budget that you're gonna have then it was like a back and forth you know we came like to like you could say bad blood like between like certain things you know um and it didn't go out like the way that it was supposed to so it was just like a waste of time like working on the second album you know like um that's when the whole like reggaeton scene started you know like getting even bigger mm -hmm. so money wise you know prices for producers and art and artists is is increasing as and well and you were working with some like really great producers exactly. like you know so um it was like also there was like a lot of people like I had a really good relationship with Gus Lopez, mm -hmm. which was the president of Machete. But there was a lot of people behind the label that he had to come and speak to afterwards. You know, that they they wasn't that really friendly with me. You know, like there's always I think people, there were some people that were hating on you over Yes, there. a lot of people in there. Why you know? were they doing that? But I will say, like, I was the only artist signed from New York yeah. to the label. Um, Non-Puerto Rican, you know. At the end of the day, I don't have anything against Puerto Rican or anybody else. Yeah. But um, 
they have um, in Puerto Rico, they have like a lot of the producers out there, like the people that's in the reggaeton scene. They have yeah. a lot of um, like they only want their own people, you know, to like blow up or whatever, you know. So it, it, there was always like with DJs here in New York as well, you know, there was always people that um, they were like, oh, that's this kid from New York. He's Dominican. This and this and that. So they kind of like they listen to your music, but they kind of hate. Yeah, they hated on you a lot, but we never you know, hated on you here. So that's the whole mm -hmm. thing that happened. Where um, if you if you like following the whole like Latin hip hop now, yeah, um, you have artists from DR, you have artists from Chile, you have artists from Mexico, Spain, you yeah. know, and so on, that they doing you know, like big things. It's true. And now um, and the now whole, everybody's hating on reggaeton too. So not only that, like the whole <laughs> thing that happened with the record from um, there's a there's a record from Daddy Yankee, the Somos Calle that they, they did the record and there's like a whole big mess going on because of the record because of what they said you know and like a lot of the well tell people what they said um yankee actually used to say like a comment he was a vote that, for mccain is that nah, it nah nah that wasn't that he he messed up in there too you know but <laughs> i'm saying like he um he said it like a comment on um, on the track that he was like oh we the the number the number one urban um, artists or something like that, you know, like that actually build like Latin hip hop. Oh, that's what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. You know, like they they taking like the credit for it. You yeah. Know? And at the end of the day, you have Latin America, you have even Europe. You know, that yeah. they're doing Latin hip hop. You know, you have everybody. So there's there's like you can't actually be like, oh, I'm the leader for this, when you actually not the leader at the time. You know. Like, yeah. Especially like with reggaeton, there's other artists like from other countries right now that they're doing way better than artists from Puerto Rico, you know? It's, yeah. It's crazy. <coughs> but that's what happens in the game, you know? I, I guess so, and I guess you just have to be careful what you say, and yeah. like, yeah, I, I guess it, that's how it is nowadays, you know? Everyone's listening to every word. I mean, <laughs> your mentality changes, the you know, like, like, you, like, I could tell you that I learned a lot, you know, signing to Machete, you know, I had other deals on the table before I signed with them, but I thought that they was gonna actually do something for me because they had Looney Tunes back then. Yeah. They had Don Omar, you know, Wisin and then and everybody else. So I was like, okay, they're gonna work me how usually like the the English labels work in artists. Yeah. Like you have a new artist, you have like a big roster, they're gonna give you at least one of the other artists on the big roster, you know, to like actually push you. But they, they don't do it that way, you know, they sometimes what a lot of the labels do, like they feel that you have something that could actually like put like an artist like to the wall they're just gonna take you and they're gonna lock you you know they're not yeah. gonna do nothing for you that's you know? what so they're that's, gonna do yeah that's exactly. basically what it is they they want you it's like buying up the market it's yeah. like diddy does that like kill <laughs> diddy or jimmy dupree they'll buy up artists or songs or something just like that that to either get the new trend or to just to make sure someone can't put a hurting mm -hmm. on someone they already have yeah. you know so I mean? then you've learned a lot and then how did you even get hooked up with 326? Now, we need to clarify this because when I did the interview, it was very confusing between 326 and the studio 326 and the labeled 326 and 326, <laughs> the friends on the street. Yeah. I mean, so how did you end up with 326? I mean, it's a whole movement, you know, like 326, like you mentioned, the studio, you know, the people that's repping, you know, be looking out for the support. Because um, you, you live in the city. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn, you know. Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn. Um, oh, and that's another thing that they hated on you for. Yeah, because like, you weren't from Washington Heights. <laughs> I mean, but, you, know, you got you got to see like the best, you know, like hip hop artists, you know, like Biggie. Come on, he's yeah. from Brooklyn, you know, Jay Z, you know, and several other artists. I mean, um, well, you could say like three to six, like my own management. You know, actually, it was Kano. You know that. Uh, hit well, me how up. did you meet Kano? Kano, you know, MySpace is everywhere now, you know, okay. so Kano hit me up on MySpace. Um, remember that, that time that we came in with the other artists that he was working with? Yeah. Like, we was going to do a record together, you know, actually, we was actually working together back then. And um, that's how we kind of, like, started developing the relationship, you know. So, like, when you develop a good relationship, you know, you just keep working <coughs> together, you know. So mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened, you know. Now, Kano's my management, you know. Um, and no more... Scammo music. I don't no scammos. You know? <laughs> um, there's a lot of things change, you know, like like you start seeing people's like real colors, you know, within time, you know. And, and that would you say that really happened once that whole machete thing was going down, you kind of realized who your friends were? 
Um, I started seeing that before. Like, actually, when I signed with Machete, that I started, like, people started noticing me. Mm-hmm. You have all this, like, people that start calling you, like, yo, when we gonna chill, this and this and that, you know? So I was like, yo, why wasn't you calling me before I got signed? You know, like, that's being fake. You know, so there's, there's actually, like, there's not too many people that I consider in my circle. Yeah. yeah. You know, and the the ones that I do consider my, like consider my circle is like the ones that I'm like, okay, they they're real, you know, like I could work with these people, you know. So like this guy